Hi there, uh, this is Brad Rourke, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I've been um, blogging for a long time now, since uh, 1995, and uh, that means that I've uh, posted a lot of images online, and I've learned um, some tips and tricks to, to make them look good easily and quickly on um, when you're posting on the web. So I'm going to show you how to use uh, a free tool by Google called Picasa to um, to do this. It's really very simple. There's just a few steps um, and it improves the quality of your images immensely. First of all, you need to download uh, this program called Picasa, which is different than um, than the online photo organizing site that Google has. But, but go to google.com slash Picasa and download Picasa. And what that does is it um, it looks at all your um, all your uh, photos and it allows you to, to play with them. So here we have a um, here we have a, a photo that I'm going to improve. This is like a basic photo of um, of a sunflower, and you can see there's a bee there. There's actually a couple of bees in there. And let's say I wanted to post this online. It looks okay. I mean, it's in it's it's basically in focus. Um, you know, it's it's sort of bright uh, and, and it's pretty, but it's not quite ready. And when you're in Picasso, you look over here to the left. There's three tabs and my workflow is basically to go through each one um, at the same you know one after the other so first I crop and there's the reason I do this is just so that all my images end up being about the same dimensions I use four by six and they've got a, a preset where it'll sort of try to pick what you're uh, what you're focusing on and then you can uh, drag that around you can also it, it maintains the um, the aspect ratio you can make it smaller or larger so I, that looks about right to me um, so you apply that you click apply and we're good All right. now uh, second part is tuning basically what you want to do with um, with photos that you take is to boost their contrast and their vibrancy because um, they're stacking up against pro shots online um, that are always quite bright. So the, the trick to doing that is to use these three sliders here. I usually start by increasing the, um, the darkness, the shadow. So the dark things are getting darker. And as you can see, I've got some sort of black spots now that, you, that are hard to, hard, to, hard to make out. And then I add in um, some fill light, which it adds back in light, and what that's doing is sort of making the darkers dark and the lighters the light things light. And you can see it's already, um, you know, a little more vibrant. And then with the highlight slider, I can actually increase the the vibrancy of the things that are really bright. You got to be careful with this because you can get things to be washed out. So here I'll. Look at that. Whoa, that's too much. So, you know, maybe somewhere around there. So now I've got something that's nice and bright. The darks are dark, but they're not illegible. Um, and, uh, and and it's, you know, it's, it's colorful. So when you've done that, it, 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 it takes on that tuning. You don't have to apply those changes. But then finally, you go to effects. And there's two things I want to do in effects that, that improve your, um, that improve the, the way it looks. The first is, I want the I want the yellows yellower, the greens green, the blues bluer. So I just click on saturation, and what that does is it, it does all of that. Now you've got to be careful. You don't want too much because if you get too much, I'll show you what happens. It gets like crazy looking, and you see these little blue speckles all throughout. What happens is things that are black get blue pixels. You don't want that. What you want is just like a little bit above midway. So my yellows are yellow, my bright greens are bright green, and my blue sky is looking blue sky. Um, you've got to apply these settings when you, when, you, uh, when you use this tab. So you've got to apply that. Now the final thing is to sharpen. Now there's a, there's a trick to this. If you just click sharpen, it's actually sort of hard to tell what happens. Um, it, it thinks for a minute it's refining. And you can see the slider is way down here. What I do is when you click, press and hold the shift key on your keyboard, and now click. Bam. When I do that, I don't know if you can see this on the video, but it's dramatically more 
uh, it, all the edges are much more sharp, it's much more clear, and you can see what these little bees are in the middle. Don't, don't boost it up beyond where it takes you, uh, because it starts to look sort of weird. So, um, so just leave it where it is, but shift, click on sharpen, and then you apply that, and you're good to go. So what you, you can then do is export, and it'll export into a, um, you know, into a folder on your desktop or wherever. So, so there you have it. It's, uh, it's really quite simple. Um, Three-step process, crop, work on the tones and the, and the brightness and the shadows, and then finally work on saturation and, um, and the sharpness. And you've got an awesome photo that is ready to post in your blog and it'll look really cool and it'll uh, it'll add to your uh, post and not detract from it with uh, dingy out of focusness. Thanks again. Uh, this is Brad Rourke. I uh, hope you visit my blog at blog.bradrourke.com. Take care.